Is it possible to finish Resident Evil 7's Madhouse difficulty with 100% completion and get a refund from Steam? If you are unfamiliar with Steam's refund policy, or if you haven't seen my RE3 refund video, if you play a game for less than 2 hours and own it for less than 14 days, you can get your money back. In order for me to achieve 100% completion on the Madhouse difficulty, I would need to destroy all 20 Mr. Everywheres, collect all 33 antique coins, read all 32 files, as well as collecting and using all steroids and stabilizers in the game. This really was going to be quite the challenge. Using my main Steam account, I had to practice many strategies that I've never done before and memorize where all of the collectibles are. But do you know what else is really challenging? Conquering the Doom Tower from today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a fantasy themed turn based RPG which doesn't actually suck. The Doom Tower is a giant prison used to store a pack of nasty bad guys that the Arbiter tried to take on but wasn't strong enough to defeat. She locked them up in a massive tower until she figured out how she was going to deal with them. Well, a few thousand years passed and the Doom Tower is still there, so I guess we know how that went. To make matters even worse, now that Siroth is leaking back into the world, the Arbiter doesn't have the power to keep the wards up. So, the Doom Tower is failing and it's up to us to go in there and knock some heads before the bad guys escape. To reach the summit of the tower, you're going to need an army of champions. The lower floors of the Doom Tower are easy enough to deal with using just a regular strong team, but the bosses are really tough and you're going to need some serious specialists in order to beat them. You'll generally want ways to remove debuffs along with a fairly high resistance. Lots of Doom Tower bosses ignore block debuffs and they can do some real nasty stuff to your champions like draining their turn meters or stripping their buffs. A couple of bosses need specific mechanics in order to beat them, like the Scarab King. He takes barely any damage unless you reduce his max HP, and if you try to take him on without a shield buff, your entire team will just get decimated. I could go on for ages trying to talk about how to fight these bosses, but the real fun is trying things out and experimenting for yourself. This is the best time to get started in Raid, and if you click my link in the description or scan my QR code, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion, Vergis, 200k silver, 1 energy refill, 1 xp boost and an ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All of this treasure will be waiting for you right here. But yeah this is run number 2, I've had to buy the game a second time and we're going to try it this time and see how, how this works so I'm going to press agree and then start the timer and we're going. We, last time we missed one file pretty much uh, <laughs> and it was quite annoying. But anyways, here we go. The beginning of the game is quite long and boring if you finished it as many times as I have, but there is an antique coin and three files that I will need to collect. If I don't pick them up now, I will not be able to pick them up later on in the run. The antique coin is locked in a drawer in the kitchen, which can be opened by going into the videotape, picking up the lockpick and using it to unlock the drawer. This will unlock the drawer for Ethan and I will be able to pick up the coin later. Onto the files now and one of them is the email from Mia which appears in Ethan's inventory at the start of the game. This file can be read while waiting for Mia to move after saving her from the cell. The other two files are on a single piece of paper and to read both I needed to flip the piece of paper around and read the file again. There's also a couple of boss fights in the guest house, Mia 1 and Mia 2. Mia 1 went very smoothly, just 12 swings with the axe was enough to take her down. And Mia 2 in the attic, where I opted to use the handgun because of my lower frame rate. Nice, perfect fight. The main house is where things start to get spicy. Tough enemies, many collectibles and a couple of boss fights to deal with. Yeah alright let's see how this bit goes. This bit can get really annoying. Just don't grab me. Nice. He hit me twice! Mm. That's her. 
It's fine. This is this is good. Now he grabs me here. I block whatever he does. And then I go right here. Lock this door. Come here. Lock this door. Lock the door! Please turn around. Leave me alone, dude. Please don't see me. Bonk. Okay. That didn't go too bad, apart from getting a double hit from Jack, which I've never seen before. Okay. Grab the gun. Grab the lock pick. He just, I love how he just kicks him like a football. It's kind of insane. Wait for him a bit. And then I just go bonkers. Now I need to start remembering some collectibles. So I'll grab this. Okay, so I'll go in here, break this, boom. Come on, you! I've been quite lucky here. I've always had the handgun ammo from this box in runs. Now it's time for Jack 2. And typically this is one of the fights I've really struggled with during practice. I either die or I get a really slow two cycle. Oh, all right, back to this fight. I don't think I'll get a, a good fight like last time. Last fight, last time this fight was flawless. Yeah, okay, Jack 2 just got completely juiced. Easy one cycle and a lot of time saved. With Jack down, at least for now, I can make my way to the meat storage room and unlock the chest containing 15 enhanced tank gun ammo and also this hidden treasure photo. As long as this photo has been picked up, you can access the steroid that's hidden inside the fireplace later on in the run. I will also be making my way to the recreation room. This room contains a lot of collectibles, as well as one of the dog heads needed to access the yard, and also has the scorpion key door, which contains the broken shotgun. And then this. Okay, grab this. How's everyone going? This one's growing better, but technically it's already better than the last one, even though I'm only at the beginning, but I didn't miss a file this time. I can't believe I missed that file. It's okay, because it just means that we can improve and get a better time. Thankfully, on the Madhouse difficulty, the grenade launcher spawns inside the trailer, so I'll pick up the weapon, drop the knife and the scorpion key into the box as I have no use for them anymore, and get the first stabilizer of the run using the antique coins that I've collected so far. Refund, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be the plan. I got made it all the way to the end, but I, I didn't realize until the end that I missed a file in the beginning, and the YouTube the YouTube chat kind of like uh, it's quite hard to read it because all the messages on my client come in all at the same time, so I couldn't uh, I basically missed it, which was not ideal. I missed uh, some people saying I missed missed the file, but it's okay because we move we move. In the bag. Must watch hungry. No, you can't watch fun videos when the, or streams when you're hungry. That's illegal. Yes, five shotgun shells. Now we're talking. Bonk. 
I used the grenade launcher again here. It's not actually to damage Marguerite at all. It's to kill the spiders on the locker containing a much needed red chemical fluid. Okay, anyone aware of anything I've missed? I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm, I'm on good track right now. I haven't missed anything. Now it's time for one of the most epic boss battles in Resident Evil history, the Marguerite 1 fight. Okay, read this file. Use the crow key. Okay, I, I may have pulled your leg a little bit there. The fight's pretty easy. Very minimal amount of ammo, and she's dead. But Marguerite 2, well, that's just something different. I'm getting grabbed here. Well... Oh, I didn't reload this. My death here. Okay, well, I appear to have messed up quite drastically. But it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh... That's not ideal, but we move. No? Because she can't die when she's doing this. It could have been much worse. It could have been much worse, to be honest. Could have been much, much worse. I don't know, I think that was about as fast as last time. What do you guys think? With March now defeated, I can go and grab the D-Series arm, which is located in the attic, and that will be the entire of the old house complete, and I will not have to come back here again in the run. This, this shotgun's really good in the game. The other one's not, really not that good. Hmm... I, I really don't like that guy because he, he's killed me on runs before. Like, he, he'll just kill you from full health. Like, it's insane. Upon my return to the trailer in the yard, I open up the fridge where I find the deputy's head with a readable file on the back. I also use three of my antique coins to get the steroids from the cage. Why am I lagging here again? At this point, I was starting to get a little bit worried. I was on pretty low HP with no upcoming healing items unless I got lucky from an item box, but there was many enemies standing in my way from now until my next guaranteed healing item. A death here would have been completely rip-run, game over, and I'd have to start again. I think I'm okay if I get to the next room. Okay. Oh! Okay. Jeebus. Oh! Oh my god, that was awful. I'm pretty sure there's a herb in there somewhere. It was at this point where I realized I hadn't grabbed the steroid from the fireplace before going to grab the snake key. I was left trying to figure out when and how I would go and pick this up now. <gasps> I've forgotten something important. I can fix this. 
I don't think I'll lose time because I still have to come up those stairs anyway. Separating agent there, I don't need it. Okay, read this. I'll probably get one from here. No. No. No healing item. Oh, man. Oh, I thought I'd die. It is over. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead, 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 I'm not dead. Okay. We're going to do something which is called a safety strat. It's, I'm going to save. Okay, should be on 21 files. Okay. Am I missing some antique coins? Okay, well that was a bit spicy. At this point, I checked off my first part of the checklist, and that was to find and consume both stabilizers in the game. Did you get the coin under the house? Uh, that's not there on Madhouse. Lower low on health. Lower low on ammo. A little bit low on confidence. I luckily just happened to remember that there's a very missable antique coin here, where if you progress a little bit more into the area, the coin will be unobtainable for the rest of the playthrough. Nice. No, this is the coin you can't miss. Okay. Please! Uh, Lockpick. Chem fluid. Boom, 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 boom. Use one of these. I don't need to. Grab the flame rounds and just go. Go, go, go. Don't forget this. It's almost time for the barn fight. If you've never seen or played on the Madhouse difficulty, you might not realize that there's actually two giant moldeds in the elevator. However, it's really still an easy fight. Fat man down, fat man down. As you can see, the neuro rounds are extremely overpowered. One of those, followed by a couple of shotgun shells and some enhanced handgun ammo, and both of them are dispatched with ease. With Lucas's birthday cake trap completed and the D-series head acquired, I can now make my way to the boathouse, where I will take on Jack for a third and final time. Uh, okay, I clutched it. Come on. Well, that was another tragic mistake with the grenade launcher. Similar to Marguerite 2, I was too close to the enemy. I fired the grenade launcher, which stunned me, and then I got hit by the enemy. I wasn't too bothered by this because I knew I had plenty of time to spare and I just got a checkpoint, so I'm only losing about a minute. If I somehow managed to get a perfect fight in the next attempt, I probably would save that minute. No! I guess I'm going for this one first. I got it. Okay, now I use the freeze round. It's 
So now he walks around slower. I think that's it. That was actually, that's actually turned out faster than the last run, I think. This is great. This is actually great. Amazing. Okay. All right, guys. The home stretch. The home stretch. With the hardest boss of the game defeated, I am now onto the final stretch. The ship is no easy feat, however, and still poses a massive risk to killing this run. When you play as Mia, you start with absolutely nothing. Anything that's been picked up as Ethan cannot be used as Mia, so I will have no health items and no weapons apart from the machine gun when you play as Mia during the videotape, and there is a lot of tight spaces that I need to squeeze through and not get killed by an enemy. I'm going to try something first and see if it works. Now, does he respawn? Stonks. Haha, <laughs> let's go. There you go, just save like two minutes. And I get a checkpoint here as well. Right? Yeah, nice. Is that going well? Yeah, it is actually. Okay, I'm gonna heal here. I'm gonna kill these guys. make sure he's dead, you know. Okay, so now I go this way. I'm just going to block and heal. I'll just heal. Is it coding efficient? Are there? Check the notes. I don't have any notes, dude. I didn't make any notes for this run. I just YOLO'd it. Alan could... Yeah, if he just had one healing chemical, Alan would have lived. Which is such a shame. How much of the game is there left? I know as long as it's less than 28 minutes, then uh, I'll be able to finish the challenge. Okay, so I grab the wrench. I grab this herb. As I had no weapons on this part of the ship as Mia, I had to use the earlier found remote bombs to destroy the upcoming bobbleheads. Okay, I'm gonna come up here and save here later. Okay, so that's 17 bobbleheads with three remaining. I thought I had a big boy outside here. I was about to get scared. Read this one. Read this one. Moving on. This is not a good start. This is not a good start. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play this like extra safe. Okay. I grab this. Please be health. It's not health. Okay. That's not ideal. Okay. Well, that's something. 
Okay. Well, I should be safe though. I am gonna, definitely gonna save because I don't want. I don't. I don't want to die, dude. Did I get the antique coin that was on the corner? Antique coins. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay. Did I get all the files? I got all the files as well. Go, go, go. We're actually gaming. We're gaming. We're gaming. Uh, uh, this and then this. No. I didn't grab the fuse. I didn't grab the fuse. I didn't grab the fuse. Relax, 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 relax. Crouch. Crouch. Under. Under. Uh-oh. Uh, I could die here. Good news, I collected every single collectible up to this point. Bad news, I forgot to grab a key item, the fuse from downstairs. Just save here, just save here, just save here, save here, save right here. Right here, boom, save. I've already read all the files, put the fuse in. Boom. Alright. I think we're good now. I think we're good. Unless the ending is catastrophic. We'll be fine. So grab this. Okay, I will heal. Grab this. I'm just gonna... Let's go. Whew. Okay, now I believe I've got everything. Should be 31 coins. Seven, uh, 18, 17, 31, 27. Uh, three, four, yeah, perfect. I've got everything. Let's go. But this is it, the final stretch. We actually have time. We have an auto save. We have stuff to pick up. We have beans. We have dashing good looks. We, okay, we don't have dashing good looks, but we have all the coins, nearly. But, uh, yes, this might be the attempt. What do you guys think? Will Steam actually refund this? I'm, I'm very curious. I, I didn't have any, I was like, yeah, they're definitely going to refund RE3. But this, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Mad Pelicans. There we go, that's all antique coins. Okay, I grab the Neuro round, very important. Boom. Mm, and then... Don't need the machine gun rounds. Don't need the MPM. Uh, strong first mate med. I do need a flame round. Well, I can't make a flame round, so I'm just gonna run, grab this. Mr. Bobblehead number one. Okay, I'm not gonna die here this time. Boom. 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 Na boom. That was such a peachy strap, but... Oof. I only had about 15 minutes left to finish the game, and I still had to complete the entire of the salt mine and kill the final boss, which does take a long time. Uh, I'm just trying to get rid of rid of the ammo, the excess ammo, ammo that I have, because I have too much. Okay... I just really don't like these guys. You can usually just run past them fine, but I've 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 taken like so many da so much damage like here. I've died here on easy. I actually died here on easy. I ran past him, full health to dead. It was insane. Okay, I should get every file in this room. It's 28. Grab this as well. This is all steroids and stabilizers. Uh file 29. File 30 is in this box. Okay, so we'll call this one 30 instead. Wait, hang on a minute. Am I missing a file? No, I can't be. This is the last one right here, right? Yep, there we go. And I use this. And what do I want? I, you know what? I don't think I have enough healing items. You know what? I don't think I have enough healing items. I don't think I have enough healing items. Uh, you know what? 
We have time, we have time, we have time. All right, here comes the final stretch. Will I live? I actually died here on, on the run last time. Granted, I wasn't as concentrated, but uh, I don't know. I'm kind of a bit more scared now. I got stun locked. was but uh just gonna squeeze right by him okay so Should be good here. I should be good. Yes, boys. I think. I think we're on a roll here. Now, listen. I have no ammo. I have nothing. <laughs> What's gone on? <laughs> I might need to go create some. Is there an item box here? No. That's all item boxes. Uh, what this thing called? Mr. Everywhere's. Go, 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 go. Speed, speed, speed. Uh, I think there's ammo in the fight, though, isn't there? There's like a. I need like a flame round. A flame round is going to be really helpful. Okay, we're approaching 1 hour 50. 1 hour 50. I've got 10 minutes to finish. But this whole ending part takes long. I haven't really practiced this, this, all of this in a long time. Do I get a save here? Okay, she can't kill me. Please give me a save here. I did, okay. Please be something. Okay, uh, okay. There we go. Easy clap. Let's go. Uh-oh. Nice. Well, say hello to YouTube, guys. I think we got it. I think we got it. Say hello to your mums, your dads, your uh, step uncles, your brothers, your sisters, your dogs. Because here we go. Boom. Boom. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. I nearly had a heart. It should be under, under the two hours for the refund. Go, 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 go. Speed, 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 speed. Okay, skip the cutscenes. Yeah, yeah, just get me out of here. Blah, 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 blah. Easy clap. Easy clap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing it safe. Which isn't even an achievement I got on this run. But Okay. 20, 33, 33, 32, 32. Uh, two stabilizers, four steroids, all F4. All done. Job done. Bob's your uncle. Did I get a refund though? That's the real question. Well, you guessed it. Steam gave me a complete refund after finishing Resident Evil 7 on the Madhouse difficulty with 100% completion.